about you!
to die! this moment in my mind, and it feels far better than I'd imagined. Now, for my part of the bargain, follow me.
stay here. Beyond this door, the hallways and chambers are flooded with radiation. I'll get the case and bring it right back. Keep your eyes open. Many of my lesser-minded brethren are bound to stumble across us. As promised, yeah, here's the gek. I hope it's worth it. Uh, I'm afraid this is where you and I part company. I'll find my way out of this place. Don't worry. Maybe we'll meet again somewhere in the, the wasteland. Objective is secured, sir. Good work, soldier. Make sure the Gek is secured aboard my Vertibird. Yes, sir. I'll have the text come down and remove it immediately, sir. You're certain she's unharmed? Yes, sir. She'll pass out shortly, but we can revive her. Excellent. Prepare her for transport immediately. Right away, sir. So, you're awake. Let's keep this nice and simple. You're going to tell me the code for that purifier, and you're going to tell me now. You really think I'm that stupid? I know you were there. I saw you. You're in a heap of trouble, kid. You're a traitor to the United States government. You know what happens to traitors, don't you? You give me that code, and maybe we can work out a deal for you. But you need to start talking right now. You know why. We can't start the purifier without it. The longer the purifier isn't running, the more people suffer. Now I'm running out of patience, son. I want that code, and I want it now. You lie. Colonel. I have need of you. Mr. President, I have no time for other matters. I'll be with you shortly. Now, Colonel. Yes, sir. Ah, alone at last. I do apologize for Colonel Auden's attitude. He's been under a great deal of stress lately. I've no doubt that you know who I am. I'm sure you've heard my radio broadcasts. I'd like to have a word with you face to face. I think there are a few things that you and I should discuss. You'll find your possessions in the locker near the door. I'll unlock the way for you. And I'll unlock your restraints as well. I'll be waiting for you in my office. Please don't carry.
it right there. You're supposed to be in that holding cell. You're not going anywhere. There's a full complement of guards in the next room. As soon as I get them, you're going back to your cell. In a body bag, if necessary. I'm not listening to anything you have to say, prisoner. Stand down at once. You're not going anywhere. Guards!
to face at last. It's high time we met. I'm quite pleased you were able to make it. The trip was not what I had intended, but serves as an adequate test of your abilities. Ah, but I have. I'm right here before you. A very open-minded of you. Kudos for embracing the reality of the situation, rather than railing against it. Let's get to brass tack, shall we? There are some things I'd like to talk to you about. You and I have a chance to make our country a better place for all of us. I'd like you to make sure that chance isn't wasted. Understand I am placing a great deal of trust in you. Your simple presence here proves that. My abilities to influence the world are limited at this time. I alone can only do so much. You, however, may come and go as you please. You have a greater degree of freedom. Perhaps it's best if I explain why things need to change, and why I'd like you to act on my behalf. The good people of this country cannot regain control while mutation runs rampant through our land. My soldiers cannot stem the tide, nor can the cult you've come into contact with, this Brotherhood of Steel. Mutations like the super mutants and ghouls must be purged from our society, our world, before we can proceed anew. Where others have failed, I believe your father's work can succeed. The purifier your father helped create has the ability to provide clean water to the whole of this capital wasteland. With a simple modification, it can be used to distribute agents that destroy mutated creatures upon ingestion. In time, we could eliminate all mutations in the wasteland. At the same time, the good people of the world regain their health. I need you to make the modification necessary for this to succeed. In front of you is a vial of modified FEV virus. Based on schematics of the purifier controls, it can be inserted directly into the console. Then enter the code necessary to start the purifier. The automated systems will take care of the rest. That's all you need to do. It's very simple. Excellent. I am pleased to know that I can count on you. There isn't much time. I suggest you travel there immediately. Once you've taken the vial, you're free to go. I'll do what I can to help speed your exit. Really? Do go on. This is quite true. The process was certainly unintended, but shouldn't we all be thankful that I'm here now? Because unlike humans, I am infallible. Because I've been programmed to be, of course. Processing. Internal logic error detected. Resetting primary memory circuits. Please stand by. Perhaps, perhaps there is a problem. I, I am unsure how to proceed. Processing directive. New directive accepted. Self-destruct sequence initialized. Civilian is advised to remove hazardous FEV material and exit at once.
my friend! I see I found you at last! I knew you had survived, and I had hoped to assist in your rescue, to repay my debt to you. Yes, and the most fascinating one at that. Whoa, this technology is amazing! Imagine the evil that can be eliminated with such tools! I saw your capture, and a little cleverness allowed me to follow your captors. I only wish I could have arrived sooner to aid your escape. As I owe you my freedom, I felt it was only fair that I return the favor. After all, I know no one else in this world. My friend, I would be honored to follow a hero such as yourself. Shall we go? Here.